temperature test. I'm about uh, 40 minutes in here. 112 in between the jade stones, 110 or 11. The actual stones, 110, 110. And in general, we're seeing like an even uh, temperature distribution, which is good. Um, pretty much even. Um, temperature gradient across the whole thing. Some 116 spots, 111, 108. Uh, kind of reminds me of um, the temperature variance of the Vitamat. Uh, this did actually warm up as fast um, as the other two. It was pretty good. And um, another kind of neat thing about this is you can kind of wrap it around you if uh, you're trying to get exposure cover for your, your legs and the top of the legs or your torso. I think that's kind of neat and nifty. Um, so that is one pro of this mat. I don't really have a lot of pros, but that is one for sure. Um, now, you know, keep in mind that only these stones are the infrared emitting element. With the other two brands, there's no gaps. There's no gaps where there's not infrared emitting. So when I measure this and I say, oh, 114 degrees in that section, uh, keep in mind that what is that section? That section is a heating pad, a traditional heating pad when you think about it. Um, and then just these small spots is where the infrared will be coming out of the stones. Uh, so in general, there's just less infrared okay, that comes out of this thing. But that's kind of the compromise to have the flexibility of it, okay? That's the compromise. Um, and a little bit of the lightweight and that type of thing. So um, with the Vitamat, we have several layers of infrared that also go down into the mat, as well as the, uh, the jade on top. The jade kind of just concentrates it, even more focuses it, like a laser. Uh, and so uh, with the Biomat, it's then, of course, like solid stone. That's why it's so darn heavy. So they just mainly fill in the whole thing, almost almost all the surface area, uh, with amethyst. Okay, But of course, you can't roll it up as tight, tightly around you, uh, which definitely has some... Uh, Potential good applications, um, depending on, again, what your needs are, and we would go over that on the consultation uh, by email or the phone. And um, let me just break out my handy EMF meter here as well while I have your attention. This is a tri-field meter, $200 meter, so it actually does work well, tests uh, electrical, radio, microwave, um, and also if there's any annoying people around uh, within range, uh, so, that's, so that's been very helpful for modulating my cortisol levels. Okay, so let's um, let's test this out here. Uh, I have it on the... Uh, I'm pulling off a 2, 2 milligauss. Let me make it a little bit more sensitive here. Um, yeah, pretty much. Um, so we're staying right around 2 milligauss. Let me move it. Okay. Wow. Um, wow. Let me move this more. All right, two to two, less than two, two to two, two, uh, two point five. How about where your head is? Two, two, one. Definitely more like ones here. Uh, two point five, right where your head would be. Um, you know, and if you don't have a head, then I mean, I'm, I'm, just, I'm not trying to be biased here. Three point uh, two. Somewhere around that, also again where your head would be. Um, so a little bit higher around the ends. Of course, one of those ends would be where your head is. I'm trying to find that spike I got. There it is. Huh. So that's such a high spike when you use this meter. You're going to want to basically bring it to the 0 to 100 range to get the full. That's weird. Huh. It goes high on that, but not on that. That's not supposed to happen. That's weird. Oh right, I was looking at the looking at the wrong wrong one. Okay, so that is um, in this spot. It's a little. This is the hot spot of the mat with uh, EMF hotter, anyways. Uh, four milligauss right here in this spot. So that would be like um, for most people of average height, you know, six foot. That would be like somewhere around your legs. 
do 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 do. Um, when we're when we're talking about your feet, okay, where your feet are, um, it is it is much higher. It's very high. Um, so like, hold on a second. Okay, yeah. So like right in this spot, we're pulling off seven milligauss. That's very high. Uh, that's right where your feet are. Okay, we just got a big spike there. Um, that's not good either, because your feet are generally going to be in the center of this thing, at the at the bottom, right? You can put them on the edges, supposedly, um, if you want, and really make a conscientious effort to keep your legs separate. Um, you know, maybe even tape your legs to the side so you don't forget not to move them. Um, by the power controller. Now remember, this is a very narrow uh, mat. It's the smallest in width. So generally your feet are going to probably migrate to the edges. Uh, I know mine do on even the much larger pads. So right here by the power cord where your feet could be, we're looking at 30 milligauss. Wow. Wowzers. I mean, that's, that's very high. So overall, this mat is... Um, Based on where these feet ratings, I mean, I would say overall the whole mat does not reduce the EMF very well. It should really keep it to like one to two if you're going to be right on top of it for hours. Um, there are some hotter spots. Um, remember, it was three or so before and by the head. That's not good. I'd reduce that a little bit. But these feet areas down here, especially over here, I don't like to see that at all. Uh, that's really high. So if you're EMF sensitive, Alex says, don't buy a Therisage, okay, just so it's on record. Um, and uh, in general, I still wouldn't recommend it based on just that reading down there at the end. Um, let's see now if I reduce the level. This thing is getting a little hot to sit on. <laughs> um, let's see if we reduce it down to the lowest level, if that will affect the meter. And voila, it does. It's basically reduced the EMF everywhere. Let me go in the sensitive range. Yeah, so so this, we did see this sort of spiky business um, with the other mats, but only when I put the EMF like right on top of the actual big plastic piece, the big plastic thingy. Um, I only saw it in that spot. Um, but like there's wires under here in these areas, but this is just a smaller mat, so your feet are generally going to be more on these wiry areas here. So if we again go up to the max setting, we get back up there again. And it's just really high, like, um, there we go, pointing on the other one there. So it's not... Yeah, I think it was, what was it, 30 before? Anyways, um, 8, 9, 4, yeah. So, yeah, this is a troublesome spot. And again, on the rest of the pad, this video is getting really long. Uh, okay, so, um, let me just go back up to the head again. But this is important detective work we're doing here, folks. Um, yeah, 2.5. Three, you know, um, definitely shields um, the least out of all the the mats. I would say three, three. Yeah. Um, all right, so that's that's it. That's it. If you have any more questions, let me know.